I'd like to show you how to use a corkscrew today. There are a lot of different ways to open up a bottle of wine these days. There's the cork finished uh, bottle, uh, either with natural cork or sometimes with plastic extruded corks. Then there's the screw cap bottle, which is becoming more and more popular. It's really easy to open. You just twist it and there you go. Um, there are also uh, bottles that are finished with these little glass corks. Um, they're becoming more popular too, especially from Austria. But it's the cork finish bottles that are the difficult thing. And I've got three cork screws that I want to show you how to operate. The first thing you're going to need to do though, is to remove a little bit of the top of the foil. I like to use this little gadget because it does a really nice clean job. And I get to call it the foil moil because it just cuts off the tip. <laughs> the best and easiest kind of corkscrew is this one that's in popular distribution. I like it because you can do Richard Nixon imitations or you can do Michael Phelps imitations. But all you need to do is take this, this is called the worm, and you sit that in the middle of the cork, twist it down like this. As the arms go up, the worm goes down into the cork, and then you just pull the arms down. And you might have to do another couple turns if it's a big cork, a long one that is, and you pop it out like that. The second kind of corkscrew, the one I prefer to use, is uh, this corkscrew. It's called uh, a waiter's corkscrew or waiter's wine key. I like it because it does this two, the two-step. The two After you take the top of the foil off, open up the worm. The worm is the thing on all corkscrews that goes into the cork. And you twist it down into the cork like that. Then you do the first notch like that, and then the second notch like that. It makes it really easy, and it makes a nice, clean opening. It folds up also into a nice, neat little package. The third corkscrew, I'm going to put this one back in, is um, a simple machine and it's really great for people who have weaker wrists or who have difficulty opening, especially those uh, plastic cork finished uh, corks bottles. The corkscrew goes over the top of the bottle, the worm goes down like this, and then you assemble it like this. And all you need to do is use one of your digits and twirl the cork around and you see how effortlessly it comes up out of the bottle. So. I'm Bill St. John. Good corking.